Hello, hi guys, this is Ankur here. So today I am at Rixas Bubble Bahar, a resort, a five star facility located at uh, Russell Khema, which is around, I would say the resort is around 50, 80 to 100 kilometers from Dubai and 25 kilometers from Russell Khema city. Uh, they call it a five star property and uh, I am here for around two days and I'm gonna tell you how this resort, what are the different facilities they are having. One good thing what I know about this resort is that it, uh, this is called uh, All Inclusive Ultra Resort which means that they have around 14 different dining options and uh, which is all inclusive in the package, all time. Uh, alcoholic, non-alcoholic beverages, the food and everything, whatever you are gonna have it here. it's. Uh, it's a free of cost. You just need to pay one time uh, check-in fee. Uh, it's quite costly. I would say that uh, for for two days it would be approximately a thousand dollar is what you need to pay to be here. What I say. Uh, so lot of lot of expectation from this five star property. So in the next few minutes you're gonna see my experience through this uh, 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 from this resort. So keep watching. Thank you. And I hope that by the end of this video you would be able to know that. Uh, is it worth coming to uh, uh, Rixas Bab Al Bahar or not and worth paying the penny that uh, is it truly value for money? Thank you. Cool. So here I am uh, inside the resort now. What do you see around me? Uh, quite a few swimming pools. They got around seven to eight swimming pools here. 
and uh, quite a few i would say around three to four the pyramid shape uh, apartments or the the rooms hotel rooms uh, which belongs to again a different category the deluxe room uh, with view with the premium rooms then uh, one bhk two bhk and three bhk a different category at the different price range which usually works right and uh, what they have they have got if you see behind me is the series of again a uh, quite a few continental restaurant from Italian to Asian to Chinese I would say Japanese and uh, Turkey so different theme restaurants or the continental restaurants are there uh, they also got a uh, multiple bars cabana uh, the another one the CNC where you can sit down and just see uh, the pool waves going here and down uh, right so I'll, I'll quickly give you the view of this whole uh, property in the next few minutes so keep uh, keep with the video thank you Cool. So what I just saw is small, I think the small water park they are having for everyone. Uh, they also got an open gym. I kind of liked it actually. What you see behind me is an open gym, a uh, sports club uh, where I see some professionals actually shooting this time. So it's not allowed to go there because of professional shooting experiences going on. Uh, but you also saw some of the CNC. I, I like the uh, sitting there. You can just uh, have a sisha and few drinks. Uh, uh, what I didn't like is actually you need to pay for the Sisha, right? So uh, now I'm gonna go and uh, give you the view of some of the, uh, the restaurants they are having here. Just uh, so let's enjoy this. So uh, what they have got a water sport, jet ski, or uh, the paragliding, and few other uh, few other water equipments available. Uh, you need to pay around 250 to 300 dirham uh, to experience this water sports here. Good. 
So these are the six to seven restaurants of the continent option they are having. All right, so it's a six to I think this uh, Asia uh, the name called uh, what do you call is La Hair and the Mosito Bar. And also what you see here is a, is a small stage where you see uh, some of the performance in the in the evening during during I would say during dinner. So now what we can do we can quickly go to the main uh, uh, dining hall where you can see the mostly the breakfast, lunch, dinner and uh, some of the drinks are served. Hello, hi, hi again. Uh, so this was a trip to Rixas and uh, in few minutes I am going to share you my Rixas movements with you uh, which will help you to take the decision whether you should come to uh, Rixas Babal Bahar or not, right? So uh, I booked this trip for the two days uh, with a lot of expectation. The price was quite premium when you compare with uh, this with other restaurant uh, with a lot of expectation that it would be ultra uh, all exclusive right so when you see word ultra then it again raises the expectations uh, the trip was supposed to be two days and uh, as i said in the beginning of my restaurant i'm gonna give you the conclusion whether uh, it is worth uh, coming down here the answer is no uh, the trip was supposed to be two days and with a lot of expectation but i ended up uh, cancelling my trip and made it to one day uh, with a lot of hassle because of the multiple issues that i have faced in this hotel during one day uh, I just wanted to quickly give you the summary uh, how's this been. The very first thing I found this resort not at all uh, from the hospitality perspective at 5 star rated. The property is quite good, it is quite big uh, but hospitality I didn't like it. I rate 3 star or 3 and half a star out of 5. Uh, I, it took me around 20 minutes to do the check-in in the hotel right and after this when I reached the room uh, the dinner, the lunch was supposed to end up 3.30 and again what happened if you are checking at 3 o'clock it takes you settle down around half an hour 45 minutes and when you go again uh, to have a lunch you are not gonna get it right so I, I kind of uh, I didn't like it and you end up having just uh, some funny burgers uh, few other issues I found this resort very crowded right if you are trying to have a dinner you need to wait for 5 to 7 minutes uh, uh, just to get the food that you are looking for I didn't. I don't expect this to be uh, from a five-star property, right? And uh, most, uh, most of uh, the vast experience is the electricity. Uh, I'm gonna share you a few of the pics, right? At 11 o'clock, the AC was not working. Uh, the card for the electricity was not working, and I had to call to the electrician to get it done. So 11 o'clock, someone is fixing your electricity. I'm sure it's not. It's not something you'll look for, right? A uh, few, few other issues, right? Uh, the the breakfast is again what uh, till 11 o'clock uh, if you don't get the breakfast uh, and uh, the checkout time is 12 o'clock so you end up not having your lunch as well uh, so these are the some of the operational issues overall uh, my conclusion it is not coming down it is not value for the money uh, for the amount yeah at the end of the day it all like if it is the range of like so 500 to 600 700 dirham I can you can come down if you're paying up more than that I won't advise you Great guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, keep liking, subscribing, knowledge, travel, fun and feedback. So this was my short feedback uh, to the Rixas uh, Babal Bahar, Russell Kema. Thank you so much.